Yo and hello! On this edition of Manga Hall, I got a lot of stuff to show you, so let's jump right into it. Um, I really wanted to get started reading uh, Tokyo Revengers, because if you look at my, my best-selling manga of 2021 video, Tokyo Revengers was uh, surprisingly high on that list, so I figured it was worth getting into. Um, yeah, I got, I got two omnibuses. This is the first one. I don't exactly know what to expect from Tokyo Revengers. But uh, I hear it's really good. And then to show you the second volume. So if you're big into Tokyo Revengers, uh, let me know in the comments right away um, what is what is uh, good to look out for. And that's obviously try not to spoil too much, but just kind of tell me what the, what the whole deal is about. Um, and similar to Tokyo Revengers, I was recommended to read Gangsta. Uh, Gangsta Volume 1 and 2. Here it's a slightly, slightly shorter series. The anime was slightly shorter too. And um, so a, a quick read would be really um, a good change of pace. Something I can actually finish relatively quickly. Oh man, another brand new manga I got that I really want to read is I want to get caught up with uh, Record of Ragnarok. So far what I've read from Record of Ragnarok was really, really good. And um, I'm actually excited for this next battle coming. So I gotta, I gotta look up who these guys are. Um, but Record of Ragnarok is actually a banger. Um, I probably recommend to read the manga first, and maybe skip the anime because I hear the anime has like some really rough animation sometimes, like a lot of still frames in the combat scenes and stuff. So, you know, and the manga you can't really go wrong. And another big jump I'm taking is I'm getting into more Way of the House Husband. Um, this is almost the rest of what I can get right now. I think went ahead and got three more volumes of Way of the House Husband volumes. Uh, three, four, and five. Way the House Husband's like a really, really funny and kind of just like lighthearted, hard, uh, lighthearted story. So it's another good change of pace from a lot of the serious stuff I do read. Something that's a little funnier. Um, there's not like a continuing storyline so far. There's like little plot. Uh, there's little, there's characters that come back chapter to chapter sometimes. Um, so I'm really looking forward to reading more, uh, reading more Way the House Husband. For it. These don't take me too long to read, so that's why I, I'm, I'm getting like at least you know two, three at a time. Because I've done it before. I've read the first two volumes, kind of just like at at kind of a slower pace, and uh, you know I can read through them pretty quick. And so I really want to. I can binge through that a lot faster. And speaking of a bingeable series, I am flying my way through. I'm flying my way through uh, Berserk. Finally got five more volumes of Berserk to read. These ones are still sealed up. I haven't touched them yet. But um, I read the first five volumes very quickly. So here comes the the next five. The Berserk, there's lots to talk about. I'm still just getting it. It looks like it looks like a good chunk of it. I wasn't expecting so much of the story to be um, like Guts' backstory or at least what takes place like the first little story arc there. Like Guts when he was in the Band of the Hawk seems to take up a big chunk of the whole series so um, I, I don't know exactly when that ends or how far that goes when the timeline kind of catches up where you start off with in volume one but there's so much to talk about I'll have to make dedicated videos just um, if you're interested in that I'll make dedicated videos talking specifically about uh, Berserk so either if you're new to the franchise like me or if you want maybe see what I picked up while reading it the first time uh, let me know right away. And, uh, not to keep waiting too long, but I am starting to read, uh, Chainsaw Man. I have volumes one and two here. These are going to be pretty interesting. The manga, the anime just came out, so I'm going to catch up. I'll probably read these two volumes and then I'll watch the anime, what's available. So there's probably a few episodes out by now. Um, so this is really interesting. So we'll see how, how Chainsaw Man goes. Um, I'm not I don't even bother like looking up synopsises or like reading stuff like about anime haven't anime and manga I haven't watched because I just I just wa I want to go in as as fresh as possible into a lot of the stuff so so I have the first two volumes here and we'll see how Chainsaw Man goes I'll let you know that's gonna be pretty much up there with Berserk like just kind of something that's really really relevant right now 
well, Berserk's always really relevant, um, but Chainsaw Man's like the big thing right now with the anime coming out. And one volume of manga I'm borrowing right now is Dan Dan. Um, I finished this whole volume already. It was really interesting. Um, if you don't know what Dan Dan is, it's a story about a girl that believes in ghosts and a guy that believes in UFOs and they meet each other and they they kind of dare each other to go find their respective entities and they go on really crazy wacky adventures um, trying to deal with running into ghosts and exploring going on these adventures looking for ghosts and aliens um, and some really crazy wacky shit happens. Yeah, I would say go into it blind and see what you think because I think it was, you know, it's just, it's really ridiculous. I, I, I recommend Dan to Dan as far as if you want to read something that's new, not quite as well, quite as well known. Um, it would be really sweet if this one got an anime too as well, so we'll see how that goes. And I got Volume 3, Kaiju Number 8. Um, worth reading for sure. I, I, don't, I really hope another anime comes out for this too. Um, it takes the it takes the the kaiju the concept of kaiju's attacking kind of on a regular basis and kind of builds a world around that. So like, that even in volume two I was reading and they were like, oh, we've been fighting kaiju for hundreds of years and stuff like that. So like, the the world is quite well uh, fairly adapted to fighting kaiju's, and so like the Japanese, for some reason they're attacked the most, which is kind of ironic because that's kind of like of course they would be. Um, so they have some of the best kaiju fighters and um. Well, the most interesting part is the um, the kaiju cleaners. The guy that that's the main character. He he, has, he works with the cleaners. So like after these giant kaiju die in the middle of the city, um, people got to come in and clean that mess up and everything like that. And and then they take the the body parts of the kaiju and they'll use them for supplies or research and stuff like that. So it's really interesting. Um, and I've been reading the Demon Slayer. I got Volume Four Demon Slayer. I got to finish Volumes Two and Three, and then I can read Volume Four, and then. I do have the spin-off manga, but I'm probably not quite ready to get into that just because I don't know the characters that the spin-off is about yet. Like the the way Demon Slayer tells its story is really well done. Like the writing is the pacing or the like it feels like it kind of feels like you're reading a a fairy tale or a um like a like a classical like a classical story kind of has that timeless feel to it, and it's really good. Like, a really good Hero's Journey story, so I think that's kind of where, I think that's really where that's coming from. Um, but Demon Slayer is really good, so I'd recommend it. I'll probably read a good chunk of the, the, the manga, and I'll start watching the anime too, since everyone says... I've heard arguments that people, should like, oh, just watch the anime, you can skip the manga, but, you know, the, the manga still is, like, the, the pure, the pure uh, version of the story. Oh, we got volume 11 of... Yuki Holder. Yuki Holder is a story I really want to keep keep up with, um, just because um, I'm really a big fan of Ken, Ak Ken Akamatsu stuff. So uh, Yuki Holder has been pretty good so far too. Um, my big struggle is I, I I just don't read enough of it. I gotta I gotta stay consistent with it. So if I make more videos or read more manga, I'll you know be able to keep up with some of these series. I have many volumes out by now that I've been struggling to keep up with. And I think. There, and I think the last manga I got is Don't Toy With, Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. And, um, yeah, because I was I, I was kind of interested, I, I, I did like what Uzaki-chan was doing, and I did like that that manga a little bit. I liked how funny it was. I liked the little scenarios that happens. Um, so I got, so I kind of got another one of those, just to try another one out and see how it goes. So, um, Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro, it's going to be... Yeah, like the idea that you have the like the girl that teases on the boy, and the boy is completely pathetic. is It's kind of a it's a it's kind of a um kind of just an adorable an adorable premise. So, um, let's see how. I'm excited to read a little bit of Miss Nagatora. So, and then lastly, the thing that really put this whole thing over the edge for me is I got a good stack of some Sentai. Some Sentai anime. Um, we got Love, Love, uh, Beyond the Boundary, Weathering with You, Hokoku, uh, Hadaraki Man. Um, Hadaraki Man caught my eye because it was about a business lady being a trying to be successful, and so kind of the struggles you might have as a Japanese businesswoman um, seemed pretty interesting. So I picked that one up. These other ones. These are all 
I'm going in this. I'm going in super blind. I, you know, I just kind of picked like what seemed interesting. Um, the only thing in here I think I even know anything about is weathering with you, which is because I know that like it, it's it's just a film, so it's um it's one of those you know uh, anime films that you might see on Netflix that you know get really popular for a little while, and they're really you know well made and stuff. So I think that's the only one thing I I know anything about, and I don't even know the premise here. I'm trying to read it. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it seems interesting. So a lot of the stuff I'm going blind. I just want more anime to watch. You know, throw it on TV, have something on, um, something that's not necessarily watching Crunchyroll or Funimation or anything like that. Just kind of you know, have my own collection, get to actually own some of my anime. So um, I don't think that's mostly it for this batch. There's more coming, so um, that's kind of part two. So we'll see. Uh, something to think I got more anime coming. So um, when that arrives, I'll show you more of that. Um, so until then, yeah, see you guys later.